Hey Scorpio, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for July 27th to the 28th of 2023. Alright, let's get started with an oracle card message for Scorpio. Next 48 hours for Scorpio. Something about sand or a sandbox. That could be metaphoric. I know video games have like the sandboxes, but take it as it resonates. Blackberry, invasive. Cumin, faithfulness. <laughs> Mint, clarity. Overall energy is patchouli purpose. So you're very clear about your purpose or you're about to be in the next 48. Yeah, I'm literally seeing someone ask the universe and then in the next 48 hours, you get a confirmation on something because I feel like you've been trying to force yourself down a certain path and it keeps turning you back around and keeps turning you back around and keeps turning you back around because that's not the path you're meant to go on. Excuse me. A path you were going down was invasive. It was not helpful. It was harder than it needed to be. I feel like because of this, you returned to your faith. You ran back. You're like, all right, fine. And you return to your faith, whatever that is for you, your religion, your spirituality, whatever it is for you, you prayed and you asked and you're about to receive clarity on exactly what your purpose is in the next 48 hours. You're like, all right, well, which path am I supposed to go down? What job am I supposed to work? What is my purpose? You're about to get it in the next 48. Let's get into the tarot for Scorpio. Something about milk and honey. Hmm. The traitor. People could be calling you a traitor because you're switching up your um your path. It doesn't matter. Five of Cups. So you could have had a traitor around you who was like making your life harder than it needed to be. They were disrupting your peace. The high priest is Pisces, but you can see this. Yeah, this is the clarity. This is the clarity. So whether or not people were calling you a traitor doesn't matter. I feel like you just weren't on the right path. And it's like you were expected to stay down that path when and stay faithful to something that was working against you anyway. And I feel like you turned back around and you went back to something else that was what you wanted in the first place, but other people convinced you to go a different way. That's what I'm really getting. You were down the right path initially, or you were going towards something initially, but somehow people convinced you that that wasn't it and they made you go the opposite way, but the opposite way was much harder for you or people were making it difficult for you. And so you left and went back and people may be calling you a traitor, but it doesn't matter. You know which way you're supposed to go now with the high priestess, ace of swords. Yeah, clarity. The truth is coming to towards you in the next 48 about your purpose in life, about where you're headed. There, and here it is, the depiction, the four of wands. What job you're meant to work, what career field you're meant to be in or who you're meant to be in. Because you could have been asking um, about clarity with who you're meant to be with because the four of wands can be a union. Overall energy is the queen of wands. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to write the title down and then I'm going to clarify. Before I forget. I feel like you are in this fiery energy at this time, taking initiative, very attractive, spiritually and um, physically. Clarify for Scorpio. Someone could be eating seafood or thinking about getting seafood in the next 48. I'm seeing shrimp specifically. Then I heard lobster. Clarifying the traitor 
is the Knight of Wands. Yeah, people could be just calling you flighty, saying you're jumping from job to job or you're jumping from place to place. And it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mind your business. You just doing you. Yeah, you could just be, these people are manipulating you. They're confusing you. These people may keep trying to get you to jump from thing to thing or telling you. And I feel like the thing that's annoying me the most or the thing that's the most telling is that the path or the paths that they're telling you to go down are ones that are whooping your ass. Because the depiction I've been seeing is you going through a bushel and down a path on a dirt road and you're getting all scratched up on your legs and ankles trying to get through this. They're, they're making you go down paths that are too harsh for you. Or not that it's too harsh for you. It's just they're not meant for you. You're meant for something better than to be walking through thorns. Seven of Cups. Yeah. These people are confusing you and making you either making you feel flighty or like a traitor or they're manipulating you into going down a path. They're just it's none of their business. And it's funny because these people aren't even happy with what they're doing or they're all over the place. Clarifying the Five of Cups is the Two of Swords. Judgment. Yeah, don't um don't worry about disappointing others. I feel like um disappointing others is what's like a blockage for you. Who cares? I do feel like something or someone from your past is trying to be revitalized or reignited in your life. And I feel like that's a blockage for you. Don't do that. Clarifying the high priestess is the ten of cups. Yeah, you know what's meant for you. Five of Cups. So this could be a family situation. You're seeing your family situation very clearly, how they could be very manipulative. I just feel like you're leaving this dynamic behind or you're leaving the influence of these people behind and they're calling you a traitor for leaving. They're calling you a traitor for not listening to them anymore. That's all this is. Clarifying the Ace of Swords is the moon card. They're just upset because you're freeing yourself. Knight of Cups. So there could be a Cancer or Pisces apologizing to you. I keep getting the moon for every sign. So the full moon in Aquarius is um, August 1st. This is for the next 48, but some, that energy could still be influencing you on July 27th and the 28th. There's going to be some truth coming towards you. Someone, the truth is an apology to you. Someone's going to apologize by telling you the truth. Some apology is going to bring clarity to you. And it's from someone who was being manipulative or gaslighting or who was around those people who knows the truth. Or simply you and your heart forgiving, it can bring you clarity. But this Knight of Cups is bringing you the truth. Whether it's you forgiving others or someone apologizing to you. Clarifying the Four Wands is a star, Aquarius energy, Ace of Swords. Yeah, someone's going to want to patch things up with you. Or I just see you healing family issues in your heart by just um, letting it go, seeing it for what it is. Or I'm just the Two of Wands and you move on. And you don't care about being called a traitor anymore. I just feel like that was a way to gaslight and manipulate you into doing what they wanted you to do. But I do see an apology coming from someone here. And it's allowing you to heal a family or home situation or heal your relationship when it comes to your career or your work and see the situation clearly for what it is. Or seeing it clearly allows you to forgive or let it go. Because you get to find your purpose and you get to have the freedom and excitement. And I feel like you're seeing that this your family's just not happy. Someone could also be getting clarity about a marriage or a, a love dynamic or home dynamic that they were not happy in. But I feel like because you get this clarity of this truth, it allows you to like heal a situation. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.